What's up? In today's video, I'm going to chat about the latest pod that I've made and go over my first pod that I ever made. So months ago, before we even got into lockdown or any of this crazy world stuff was happening, I saw that Jartog's Armory, I'm going to send a link, put a link in the description, had the pod design online for sale. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a crack. So print it off, uh, it came out okay, painted it, and um, this is the first design I came up with. Now in The Mandalorian, <clears throat> Baby Yoda's pod actually changes three or four times. Goes from a, a whitey color to a brown, then back to a silver color, and then it seems like another white color again. So this one was one of the ones that was obviously brown, um, and it turned out pretty good. The first, first print, there was a few updates in the latest prints that meant that um, you didn't print as much material. So this part here is, there's a lot of material printing in this. So I printed it uh, in a, on a 0.6 millimeter nozzle on my um, printer, my Alphawise U20, and now I've got a, a CR10. Um, and I think it was something like 3% infill or 5% infill. And that did the job. There's heaps of lines on this. You'd be able to see the printer lines from way up. You know, they're like, it's not, it's not perfect. Let's, let's say that. But, you know, it was a really good first go. I'll put the review on line on Etsy. And yeah, it was great. Put it on the Facebook page as well. And people seem to enjoy it. Um, friends and family love seeing this thing up close when they come over. That is one of their highlights for sure. <clears throat> um, on the inside, I had some EVA foam just hanging around and some pleather, some fake leather. And I just glued it on. And that's what the base is, which happens to be the exact same color as the spray paint, the brown material, which was awesome. So that's the first pod. Now these things take about a month to print and then sand, and then I use putty. So I use this smooth um, interior filler. You get this at Bunnings. Um, in Australia, pretty cheap when you think about what it actually does and when you use it. It takes a few hours to dry, then you sand it over, then you put more putty on, you sand it again. It takes a few days to get a really smooth finish. <clears throat> but when you do get a smooth finish, all your lines disappear. So here is actually the seam. You can kind of just see it with the, the light <clears throat> here. So this middle part is the seam where I've glued um, this one I've actually plastic welded <clears throat> together. Um, and that, so that just means that I've got a little hot, it's like kind of like a hot knife that heats up with via USB. And I can go like this with it and I can stick it all together and it will stay together. Now, on the Etsy store that I put the review on, I've had a couple of people message me saying, can I make them a pod? and ship it to them. So I thought, yeah, why not? None of them actually followed through. Most of them were overseas. All of them were overseas. Until recently, this awesome dude messaged me and was like, oh, hey, I've got this YouTube channel. I'd love a pod for one of my latest videos. I thought, oh yeah, okay. I took it with a grain of salt because the other people that had messaged me didn't really follow through and I wasn't expecting anything to come of it. So a little back and forth happened on Etsy. And then I jumped, we jumped onto Discord on how to chat. Um, and yeah, everything was legit. He was happy for me to just go ahead and make the pod. And so then I did. So on Jartog's Armory, there's actually an update for the pod. So there's no longer that much material in it. And a few of the little things had tweaked. So I used that latest update to print it out. I bought a version of the pod uh, again 
because I had messaged originally the guy who created the pod um, and told him that people wanted to wanted me to make them one. And so I said to him, what's the best way to do this? I can give you commission. He said, just buy it um, because he had lots of orders because he was starting to print these as well. So he was just happy for me. He just said, yep, just buy the product. You know, don't put it on your Etsy store or anything. If you just do a one-off, that's fine. It didn't, never actually ended up coming out because I never ended, ended up selling any until this, this guy messaged me. So got started. I started a few weeks ago, maybe two or three weeks. I feel like it might be two weeks. And I've been hitting this thing really, really hard. I've been really kicking it out, trying to get as much done as possible. Now it is much heavier, and I don't know why, much heavier than the other pod, um, but I really like the colors. It is a much um, whiter, it's one of those white pods, but it's a much nicer, ooh, so smooth, much, much nicer color. Um, the orange back this time, so up the back here, and that one is still is still brown. <clears throat> so this one here is still the brown inside, because it's hard to see the actual pod itself when you're in watching Mandalorian. You know, it kind of comes and goes really quick, like it just goes whoosh, across the screen, and there's Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda, and he's not in the pod the next time you see him. So it's hard to get details, but I think the guy who's designed this has done an amazing job because He's found a lot of detail. He's managed to get that out of a TV show, which is very hard to see detail because it's also very dark. So I put in, just put in the weathering today. So again, this one was, oh, I haven't finished putting these parts on properly. So this one was uh, printed actually in a 0.8 nozzle. So much, much quicker uh, on the CR10. Printed it in four parts. Now, because of the speed of the print I, and how quick I needed to get it out, I printed it in four parts. You can kind of see the, the hot glue gun there. Instead of plastic welding it, because it takes so long, I've hot glued it. Uh, some of it has actually started to, unfortunately, come uh, away from itself just because the Australian heat here <clears throat> is not doing it very well. So this is shipping off tomorrow. I've done almost the final coat, done the weathering. I absolutely love this thing and I cannot wait to see it in the video. Now there's something special about this pod that I can't, oh actually, no, I, I can show you because I, I just showed you before actually. So there's a hole at the bottom, um, which is where there's a puppet that's gonna go through. And yeah, cannot wait to see what happens there. So this pod took, yeah, it took about three weeks as in three weeks, a, a, um, an afternoon every day. And this has so, so many coats of this. I lost count. Uh, this filler has been on there so many times. Uh, a tip with, with filling is put, put less on because it dries a lot quicker and you can use a heat gun to help it. But when you use a heat gun, it actually can crack it. So you put a smaller amount on and you can, you can use a heat gun and do more layers instead of doing a really big, thick piece on here. What happens is it, it dries and then it cracks. And so you need to end up, you're putting putty on your putty to smooth out the cracks in the putty. So do smaller putty um, adhesion when you're putting it on so that that way, yeah, you don't have to go back and, and heal it as much with itself. When I was originally doing these side um, details, it looked red, but it's actually the same orange that's on the inside. So I ended up have to, having to, I sprayed the inside, but these ones, I just sprayed some spray paint in a, in a lid and painted on that. They were red that I mentioned that I painted. So really happy how it turned out. This is one of my favorite pods. And I guess the great thing is that like you could use it. I don't know what you use it for. I tried putting my son in, in it, but he'd already, he was already too big. He was born in the start of September 
And so now he's, you know, just over three months old. And he fit, I think the first three weeks he fit in this one and then he outgrew it. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking about putting it on the Etsy store. I obviously need to design my own. So that's a challenge. So thanks for watching. This is, yeah, the first video of, I guess, a maker's collection of some of the stuff that I get up to. Uh, this is my very ad hoc creative space. Let's get this right, right here. Where's my chest hair? <clears throat> so this, this is actually usually the back area of our house, but instead I've converted it into my workbench. My workbench. And paint galore. Oh, that's right. Another thing to mention is I use this primer filler uh, from Super Cheap Auto. I'm going to say Super Cheap, cheap Auto. Yep, there it is, there, Super Cheap Auto. This stuff is awesome. Again, similar to the filler, um, using much thinner strokes will get it, get you a better, um, it'll be smoother and easier to sand later because um, this stuff is one of the things that I use once I've sanded I've done lots of, of filling I'll do a light spray of this and this really shows up where you can put a bit more filler so I've gone through so many cans of this it's not funny I've got cans everywhere in the garage of this stuff <clears throat> I used to use British I think it was British paints but I've just swapped over the squirts I think that squirts has by White King it seems to have a bit more pressure in it than British paints and it lasts a bit longer. So that's really, really helpful when I'm doing larger prints, especially for these ones because there's a lot of spray paint going onto it and you don't want to run out like I had with these ones because I used so much spray paint on this white pod. Anyway, that's enough for me. Thanks again. I'll add some photos in, I guess, as we go along. I'm Sam Young, catch you in the next one, see ya.